Hello, and welcome to this segment I call Just the Tip. This one is about Aurora HDR 2017 and batch processing. Uh, this is one of the most requested features that you guys wanted us to add to the next version. Well, we did it. Uh, so I'm going to show you some of my favorite tricks for batch processing and one secret idea that you might not have thought of yet. All right, let's go back to my studio and I'll show you. All right, let me show you how batch works, okay? It is very fun and very easy and extremely powerful. So you go here and click on batch processing after you start up Aurora, Aurora HDR 2017. Okay, so you can drag your images right in here or we can go pick a directory that has all of our things inside of it. So I made one here already called batch files and I'll say open. And what it will do, it was to look through all of those um, pictures in that directory and then automatically figure out what your brackets are. It doesn't matter if there's three or four or seven or nine, it will automatically categorize them. It's all very smart. I don't even know how it knows. Like a thermos, how does it know whether to keep your drink cold or hot? It just knows. All right, so these are the ones that we're gonna use and I'll say continue. And now you have options galore. So you first pick your export location, right? Choose your folder, that's fairly self-evident. And then whatever your settings might be. Uh, typically, I will turn on um, all three, okay? Now you might wanna notice here for reference image that you might wanna pick medium EV, okay? To me, that's the best one when it comes to ghosting, all right? Um, and if you don't want to ghost reduction is, you can watch some of the other tip videos to find out what that's all about, okay? It doesn't mean that we're gonna haunt your hard drive. Here, you get to select what preset you want, okay? Um, I've got some of my presets. Uh, let's say you are a real estate shooter, right? You may wanna go pick one of the architecture or indoor ones and maybe pick indoor realistic. Um, you know, we have our own set of extra presets you can get too, and we made a lot of realistic ones with the intent of doing um, a lot of batch processing. Because remember, like let's say you look at what comes out of the batch processing, you may decide that it's a little bit boring or you want a little more pizzazz. Well, you can always bring that photo back into a single session of Aurora HDR and really spice it up to your satisfaction. Uh, again, you pick your format, how you want it to be exported, um, however it might be. You can do some final sharpening if you wish, and you can also choose exactly what kind of file naming you want. Then after you go through all of that, you can add this as a preset so it's there for you the next time. All right, it is fun and easy, and you're gonna love it, extremely powerful, and it was one of their most requested features, so I hope you guys love it. Thank you for watching. All right, you've got three choices. You go grab the new Aurora HDR, or you get the bundle that is a nice long tutorial, or maybe go check out my new presets. All right, thanks.